So this hydrogen powered, yeah? Yes. And is it new from the ground up designed hydrogen or is it just differences in heads and fueling? I mean, how, how complicated is it to take a, a conventionally fueled engine and make it hydrogen? And that's the type of questions we exactly were looking for when we came to Lana and the reason why the engine's here. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is a concept. Yeah. Um, it's based on our, um, uh, we, we, we have a already an existing within our product range. We have a, uh, what we call the WG series. So uh, the WG series consists of engines that are already uh, powered by LPG, natural gas and uh, petrol gasoline. So that is our range of spark ignited engines, which uh, maybe perhaps Kubota is more recognized and renowned for its yeah. com you know, in internal uh, compression ignition. Mm -hmm. But we do have spark ignited engines as well. Yeah. Um, more commonly found in, I would say, material handling applications. So yeah, your type of forklift yeah. trucks, telehandlers, pretty much any product that might also be used in an exhibition hall as well, like mm -hmm. uh, access platforms, cherry pickers, and that type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Kubota already has some uh, quite lengthy uh, knowledge and experience within this industry. Mm. So the hydrogen engine is, a, is an evolution from those, uh, from those, from those base engines. Mm -hmm. We've brought the hydrogen engine to Lama um, really as a discussion piece because yeah. it's really important that we hear uh, the, the voice of the customer, the perspective from yeah. the market yeah, of does hydrogen have a place in agriculture? Yes, yeah, and this yeah? is the debate. I mean, what, if we're going to alternative fuels, what will it be? Agritechnica, there's a lot of talk about, will, will it be electric, will it be methane, will it be you know, hydrogen, or will it just be synthetic, synthetic fuels, synthetic And the, rea the reality yeah. is that the engine manufacturers will have to provide a multitude of different solutions yeah. to suit different type of market sectors and different type of applications. Yes. Yeah. Because it's very much reliant on the infrastructure in terms of the supply chain of whichever fuel yeah, I mean, can I, meet the market, can as, meet as the as workplace. A farmer, I, I yeah. can see how I can maybe use electric in a telehandler around the yard, yep. you know, and it's, yeah, it, can, it never leaves, but I can't quite see yeah. an electric tractor in a field working eight, 10 hours a day. Yep. The battery would be as big yep. as a grain trailer, wouldn't it, at the moment? And that's the type of yeah. feedback that we, we, yeah. we really are, um, mm. in, you know, wanting to hear. Mm. So the engine is, um, it's a three. We have, it's so new. We haven't even given it a name yet. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's we're calling it the three point eight liter. It's a three point eight liter engine, mm -hmm. uh, four cylinder. Yeah. Uh, an evolution from an existing platform. Yeah. Uh, and for our OEM customers, that's actually quite a, an important point because. So by that you mean like the block would be found in other applications. Yeah. So stuff. how we've displayed it in a way is all the all the the, the engine that is in the original teal or blue. Yeah. Um, is already familiar. Uh, you'll already find this engine uh, in some of our own, in, in some of the Kubota uh, yeah. machinery products, mm -hmm. but also within our OEM engines, yeah. uh, our OEM products. As you say for existing you, that means it fits. <laughs> yes. Mounting and yeah. So engine architecture yeah. uh, is very similar to existing mm -hmm. engine. The components which are in chrome and silver are unique to uh, running this engine on hydrogen. Oh, okay. right, yeah. So it just helps to uh, have that debate and have that discussion in terms of yeah. so how does it work yeah uh, how do I install this into my machine what do I need to do to uh, to maintain it and service the product yeah. so the main thing was just to try and give a little bit of confidence mm -hmm. that actually much of the engine is very familiar and very uh, mm -hmm. much of our, our our customers and our dealer network are already accustomed to it yeah and then we just focus on the key areas that will define this engine as a hydrogen fueled engine, particularly on the induction side of the hydrogen gas mm -hmm. uh, and how we deliver the hydrogen into the, uh, uh, yeah. into the engine. Um, and also then how we manage uh, uh, and mm -hmm. control the control systems that we're using to manage yeah. uh, running on hydrogen. It looks, it, it almost layman's term, looks more like a, a petrol engine in terms of injectors and those look a little bit like coil pack type. Is, yeah. it, is that, yeah, so it's yeah. more, a bit more like a, a petrol engine than, yeah. a, than a diesel engine. So for, like, a yeah. customer, for a customer that's already using our WG series that I mentioned earlier, the, the spark ignited engines, mm. they will already have a degree of uh, yeah. familiarization with this. Okay. It's, it's, it's an evolution from that. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're, we're quoting uh, 85 kilowatts yeah. uh, at 2600 RPM. And that's a really useful power node for a lot of applications, a lot of machinery yeah. that you'll find typically in agriculture, but also many other yep. uh, industries. So, um, as I say, it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's, we're, we're, we're exploring the possibilities, we're, we're developing. Um, but importantly, 
it needs to be visible because we really want the feedback from the customer yeah, yeah. in terms of can they see can they can they see their purchase you know their their investments in the future of hydrogen powered products machinery uh, you know does that does that resonate with where they feel uh, it, it's they kind need of, to I guess go? it's new to everybody as as we say this decarbonisation and carbonising of agriculture yeah um, over the next we're going to see a lot of change over the next ten years so it's great to see that you know the kind of the innovation and convoter are kind of at the front of that with their. Yeah. With, with the engines they're developing. So, Absolutely. Daniel, thanks a lot for showing us around that. I think it's uh, really you. interesting. You thank too. You. Thank you. Thanks.